Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you how you can set up a basic Bitmoji classroom using Google Slides. Um, and this will just be like your background, you can use it as a banner, you can put it into Canvas and maybe put some clickable links on there if you want to, whatever you want to do. So first things first, you're going to go to your Google Drive and go to New Google Slides. And then you want to make sure you have a Bitmoji account, right? That's the first step if you want a Bitmoji type classroom. So I already have an account, but you can go to, let me show you, bitmoji.com, and you can create your Bitmoji there. And then once you create it, um, you want to download it to your computer. So, for example, if you're using a desktop, you would want Chrome, you would download it to Chrome. And once it's downloaded to Chrome, it's actually going to show up. As an extension that means it's going to be able to be accessed through your um, bar here up at the top so my extensions right here up here and you can see I already have Bitmoji downloaded all right so we've got that covered you want your Bitmoji downloaded you want to be able to access it from your desktop and you want to make your Bitmoji account go ahead and do that first pause the video if you need to get that done have an email set up to your Bitmoji and now we're going to get started on our classroom we are going to make a background that's the first step right you want a background for your classroom so what you're going to do is you're going to either um, right click or on my computer with my mouse pad it's just uh, double click and you're going to click change background and then you're going to choose image and you're going to go to google image search google image search and you're going to find um for and wall background and this will give you a whole bunch of options whatever type style you want if you want like a brick background whatever you want there are plenty of options and I'm sure you've seen plenty of examples but this is one way to do it I'm just gonna go with the first one I'm gonna insert it click done there we go there's my background now let's say you want to add in your whiteboard you're gonna do insert image search the web now the tricky thing for this is that you want to remember you want to search for transparent pictures that means the background is not going to show up so if it has a back, white background you won't be able to see it so let me show you what I mean if I'm going to do a whiteboard so I'm just going to search for whiteboard and I don't say transparent whiteboard right okay so this is not say transparent so you're going to be able to see well luckily this one is not but it could have been where this black is shown but luckily it's just the whiteboard and it is free so I do have the shadow down here but that's okay because it looks like it blends in with the whiteboard up there and I like that I think that looks good so I'm gonna leave that there next I'm going to insert another image let's say you want a um, chair so I'm gonna do transparent um, Let's see. Cow, just do a couch. All right, let's do this one. Oh, I'm going to have to. So let me delete one. Oh, there's, that's massive, right? So I'm going to make it smaller. Make it smaller. And now I'm going to move my whiteboard over here make my couch over here and there we go all right now let's say I want to add a little hanging bookshelf um, or we could just do wall shelf you're just basically going to search for whatever you want to decorate your classroom so it could have things in it it could be empty so since it's transparent, it does not have this white background, which is great. It looks like it blends into my wall. And now I can put some books on there. So let's say you want, you're doing a read aloud and you want to put that book on there and you want to link it to your students. You can do that. So let's do, let's say we're reading The Giver. Sometimes it takes a little while. You gotta find what you're looking for. Oh, 
or let's try another one. Let's do Dr. Seuss books. Let's do 